Hey guys, Nate here. I thought I would give you a little uh, quick rundown on a Black Bolt XBR build. Um, so as you can see here, I've already kind of started. Uh, basically what I've done so far, and uh, I'll kind of go through all the steps uh, as I progress through this, but so far all I've done, these are little bees uh, that have already been updated to do the uh, dampened light as well as the motor timing set to medium high and uh, uh, through, through the BL Heli firmware uh, modification software. Uh, they're, they're just attached with the double-sided stick tape, uh, also known as VHB. So that's, and this is extremely strong uh, double-sided stick tape. Uh, and then what they are, what they're done is they're just uh, come up here and soldered. And I'll have a list of all these parts uh, coming a little closer here. So as you can see, it's pretty pretty clean build. Just come on in to each of these sides for the uh, uh, power distribution board. Uh, then I have obviously my battery plug here, just coming out the back. This is the back here, uh, and out the front I have a uh, Pololu step down regulator. This is to provide five volts. It's coming out here. I've already confirmed that that does step it down to five volts. And that's going to plug into my receiver or sorry, into the nays board, which will then power the receiver and the nays as well. I'm actually going to be running a full nays uh, just so that way I can uh, not have to deal with the, the Afro Mini nays. Uh, what I still have left to do is attach my uh, power for my video transmitter to right here, and, uh, and I'll show you where that's going to go. It's actually going to be sitting next to the battery, which is going to be slung with a strap under the bottom. Uh, soon we're also, once the naze comes in, we're also going to be mounting the naze on top of here. It's the same exact size as this power distribution board. And again, I'll link to all the items where I'm using in this uh, build into the description. And these plugs are going to be directly soldered on. So I'll cut this off and hopefully I'll have just as nice and clean of a build where all the wires are the exact length they need to be. Uh, and so let's see what's next. All right, so on to the motors. So motors mount, I've got Multistar Elite 2204, 2300 KV motors, motors here. These things, when they spin up, they are silent. And I thought it would might, maybe had been just, you know, the factory image when, when they were advertising these, but these windings are tight and clean. I don't know if you can get kind of see that. I'm trying not to be in the shadow, but the windings are lined up nothing like the mess of the Emax motors uh, those are just messy and these are tight and clean and nice it's it's crazy hopefully you guys can see that so now that I've got them mounted what I've been doing I'm on the last one here uh, is you know direct soldering is always the best so what I do is the motors come with two millimeter bullets on them and the ESCs come with these long wires too so I just tack them together just uh, you know soldering and then I plug everything in I got my transmitter over there I just got a you know, regular old ESC here uh, my receiver so I plug everything in just for this motor give power to the board giving power to everything and I test to make sure it's spinning the right direction I just uh, take a prop uh, unscrew this part throw it on there it's very loose this is a six millimeter hole and a five millimeter shaft so it spins very loose but that's okay you don't want it to actually take off or anything you just give it a little throttle and you'll see which way it spins if they need reversing then when you clean them up right like this you know to switch two of them otherwise keep them the same just a little trick on when building your XBR nice and clean and you can see here that when you get done that motor let me see if I focus here that motor right to the ESC on all four sides and like I said I'm on the last one here okay so here is my testing setup let me grab my remote really quick so here we can take a look so I have just like I said before I have the motors tacked just to the you know the long ESC wires I have power to the board I also I make sure you know when when you're doing all these other ones make sure that the motor leads are not are 
you, you be careful where they're at. Make sure they're not touching anything, not the carbon, not each other, not nothing. They will arc because they will have power to them. All four ESCs will get power to them because of the distribution board. Just keep in mind that when you do this, this is my last one, so I don't have to worry about the other ones. But while I was doing the first one, I made sure that when everything was plugged in, that these motor wires that were not connected to anything because I hadn't gotten to them yet, were not touching anything. Very careful of that. You will arc. I'm lucky I did not arc this time. So as you can see here, it's a loose prop. It's not going to take off. It's not going to spin. It's not going to do anything. But it will spin with the motor. So I have a battery attached to an ESC, attached to any port. This one just so happens to be an orange RX and it's got a little battery port. Just giving, bat just giving power to the receiver. The power here is actually powering the board, which is powering the motor. So now we can see that when we give it throttle, see that it's safe, you know, it's not gonna do anything. But um, what you'll see here is that this was spinning the wrong direction. I know because this is the front of my, my copter. That means this one is reverse, reverse, or reverse, normal, normal. And you look here on the prop, you're not gonna be able to see it, probably not, but there it is, 65, 6, 0, 4, 5. And here's the other one, 6045R. The R are the reverse ones, right? which are the front left, back right, and the forward, the non-R, the regular turning ones, are front left. So make sure you put the right prop so you know which one's spinning correctly. And again, here we go. A little too high, obviously, but better that safety, right? So we give it just a little bit of throttle, and we see it's spinning the wrong direction. It needs to be spinning this direction. Uh, one thing I want to also show you guys is listen how quiet this motor is. Can you hear that? I mean, I'm cupping the sound towards the motor, and I've got it about third throttle. These these multi-star elites are nice. They are very tight windings. I I can't tell you. I mean, I've yet to fly them, but they they definitely uh, so far on the bench look great. All right, and we're done. So what we've got here now. Uh, and let me talk about the quad first and then I will give a little lessons learned here. So uh, if we take off the lid, you see I've got my camera connection. Let me see if I can unplug that really quick. Okay. Uh, it's just a standard, um, I can't remember the number, it's like a PZ04028M camera in there. It fits nicely. Uh, sticks out about a 30 degree tilt, which is nice. Flying fast, flying hard. Uh, as we can see here, we've got my nays. I got a full nays on here, uh, and I was not able to use my where to go. Uh, here it is. Uh, to use my mini one. This one shipped from Hobby King, not working for some reason. So I've got a bigger guy sitting out the back, still using CPPM through one wire coming in uh, to the nays right here. So I've got a battery strap, right, holding everything down. Sorry, it's all one-handed. So just like everybody else, I've got the uh, video transmitter just kind of loosely there being held on. I've got uh, this being held in place by zip ties. So uh, what else? I, I love buzzers, so I've got a little buzzer just sitting out over here. Not much else to talk about. I think we talked about everything already. Uh, this this one is ready to fly quads, I think. What is that right? Yeah, ready to fly. A ready-made RC, sorry. Uh, it has this nice little uh, rubbery stuff in here. Now let me tell you about what I learned. So what I learned is that with this canopy and the camera being where it's at, you cannot put a full nase over the, the hole. So if I were to try and drop a big pin here. Um, this would basically try and go through the carbon. So that's where the holes all line up uh, for the uh, frame for the power distribution board and the NACE32. You can't fit it. It doesn't work that way. So, but that's okay. Uh, this guy will just be up a little bit, uh, tilted up in the back, a little gap. No problem. No big deal. I don't think it's going to impact anything. 
And so that's one thing I learned. Uh, that's about it. Everything else went pretty smoothly. I was able to flash to Boris B firmware, the beta flight, and load in the PIDs and everything that's tuned for this quad. And can't wait to give it a flight. Uh, thanks for watching this build video. Hopefully it wasn't too long for everybody. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, thumbs up button. Thanks.